Thanks, Alan. Raise your hand if a college student has ever told you they don't know what they want to do after they graduate. That's at least 50% of people in the room. I can't see it's too dark. Um, but it's definitely a problem that exists. Imagine if you were in their shoes, you just spent four years of your life spending time in class, spending money, listening to lectures, and getting pounded with facts and figures that didn't prepare you for real life. How frustrated would you feel? In fact, almost half of all graduates report feeling lost. They say that they couldn't get a job in their desired field. So what's going on here? Well, let's take a look at how education works today, specifically colleges. This is today's college. Let's call it the traditional college. In a traditional college, 80% of a student's time is spent on classwork, listening to lectures, reading textbooks, taking exams, and 20% is spent on projects. This type of education is no longer effective. But college wasn't always broken. What has changed in the world that has made colleges so ineffective? Google. <laughs> Glad I got a laugh. OK. Google, Wikipedia, the internet in general, didn't exist in the past. In the past, there was a value in knowing information, because the only way to get information was by listening to a lecture from a professor, or by reading a textbook, or by going to the library. Now, information is literally at our fingertips. This has actually changed the way the workplace functions. Now, what employees know matters less. How fast they can learn new knowledge and apply that knowledge is what's valued. Therefore, colleges can no longer focus on teaching students just what to learn by making them memorize stuff. Instead, colleges need to put a radical focus on teaching students how to learn and how to apply this new knowledge. So how can they do this? Well, I think they need to fully embrace what's known as experiential education. Here's how. Let's call this new college the Immersive College. In the Immersive College, 80% of a student's time would be spent on projects, and 20% would be spent on classwork, lectures, exams, textbooks. This is the opposite of traditional college. Let's think of a more concrete example. In an immersive college, a student enrolled in Marketing 101 would spend the first month of the semester learning marketing principles in the classroom, and the rest of the three months would be spent interning at a marketing agency, or doing marketing for a nonprofit, or even marketing a project they personally care about. In traditional college, if a student is lucky, she might do one to two internships in her four years. In immersive college, a student would be doing multiple internships and real-world work every single semester. And in fact, this shift has already started. Let's take a look at two examples of programs that have embraced experiential education and how they're starting to change college. For our first example, we'll talk about the US Army's basic combat training program. The Army dubs this the 10-week journey from civilian to soldier. Now, you may not traditionally think of this as education, but in fact, almost one million American citizens have gone through this program and become soldiers. Basic combat training is divided into three phases, red, white, and blue. In the red phase, obvious, right? Should be. In the red phase, uh, recruits are learning the seven core army principles in the classroom, and they're also given rigorous physical and mental tests to make sure they're fit for the army. Once they've passed that prerequisite, in the white and blue phases, they're taught marksmanship, combat, and weapons training on a simulated battlefield. This is not just to give them valuable soldier skills, but also to build, them, uh, build confidence in them. So, how can this be applied to the new type of education that I'm proposing? Well, let's take a look at one more example of experiential education that is already starting to disrupt traditional colleges. The exponential increase in demand for software engineers, coupled with the fact that US universities and colleges can't fill that demand, has given birth to an industry known as coding boot camps. Coding boot camps take somebody with no prior programming experience through a 12 to 24 week program 
where they learn the skills necessary to become a software engineer. The best coding boot camps actually require that students learn programming basics outside of the classroom, at home, before they even join the program, using online resources that are free. So that once they're in the classroom, that time is spent primarily working on real web applications and programming other projects with fellow classmates, coupled with relatively few lectures. The best coding boot camps are now placing 90% or more of their students into jobs as software engineers at companies like Google and Facebook, and even hot startups like Uber. And instead of it taking four years to get a computer science degree, these individuals are becoming high-paying software engineers in months. Coding boot camps are growing extremely fast. There are now coding boot camps in 34 states in the United States. In 2016, an estimated 18,000 students are expected to graduate from a coding boot camp. As a point of comparison, in 2015, approximately 61,000 undergrads received a computer science degree from a US university. Think about that for a second. What took, you know, it took US universities 50 years to get to that number that I just mentioned. Coding boot camps are already one third of the way there in just four years. It's startling. So imagine if colleges were to embrace this in their core curriculum, and in fact, they've started to. Already, top-tier schools like UT Austin and UCLA are offering coding boot camps as part of their professional education program for members of the community that aren't going to the college full time. But what if they were to actually offer this as part of the core computer science curriculum? And not just for computer science, but for other majors as well, like business, finance, criminal justice, education, and electrical engineering. That's the immersive college. According to research in the Harvard Business Review, the top firms don't hire people based on experience. They hire people based on potential. They want to find employees that have the potential to learn new things and to adapt those things rapidly. And the reason is because what you know today may not be valid tomorrow. Imagine if we allowed our students to be able to test drive multiple careers inside and outside of their majors while they're in college and able to take a lot of risks. Not only would they learn practical skills, but more importantly, they'll learn how to learn. If students are given this opportunity, they'll go from feeling lost about their future and their career prospects, and will instead really feel like their education has liberated them and given them the confidence, the ability to not only know how to do things, and not only what to do things, but have the world be their oyster. And that, I believe, can change the world. Thanks.